Okay, here we are in part two of Remembering Marvel Avengers Alliance. And uh might repeat some things here. But um, we've gone through the PvP. We've gone through the simulator. We looked at the store. Uh, the team here, the team was uh, all the, the heroes. You can see there how many heroes we have here. 21 times 2, 4, 6, 8. Um, and all the heroes, I'll go through them slower a little bit. But this last one here was so mammoth in in power. Um, in fact, all these were, four were. Uh, we were wondering how long it was going to be until they nerfed them. And then we saw that Marvel was canceling things, so they didn't really care. But... Um, Boy, she could do a lot. I never even fully finished her off. Um, let's go back first to all the heroes and start with the agent. Um, <clears throat> agent, you had the four slots for gear, and then we added a fifth one, um, which was really great. Always kind of like changing things up a little bit on us. You could equip, and here are all the uniforms that I had. Um, and of course, at the end, we spent a lot of money on to get these suits because they were in limited time. This one we already had, so I spent money on this one, this one, and this one. The generalist saw good use for those. The other ones not so much. And you can see what each one offers here. Scrapper suit there. You can pause if you want to read this quicker or take more time to read it. But there's the tactician one, and here's the generalist one. Heals allies when entering mech armor. So you get an instant heal. That was key. That was great. Couldn't wait to use that more than just the one time. Um, you know, you, uh, you can change out the suits just by clicking here with such. And then if you wanted to, oops, wait. You could see your suits and what you put into it. Here are your supplies. These were all your weapons again. And, um, you know, the newest ones sometimes would come here. Here you could see, this is where they start getting lazy. And these were always the roulette awards. And after each season, we'd have the same thing. They would add new ones. And I started getting a whole bunch. And that was kind of frustrating. Uh, sometimes, of course, you'd get double double things your weapons and you know you'd buy some too like hire a hero and then they nerfed this thing and we just felt robbed because they said this is what this weapon will do for you and now oh we're taking that all away and now you just have a weapon that absolutely positively sucks so um, that was a bummer um, you'd get weapons for particular needs to counter because countering started becoming a problem and this weapon never worked for me never worked for me when it's supposed to give the extra turn for the allies never worked for me and i complained about it nothing ever happened um this one i used a lot the small hydron collider and you can see why you had several actions in there that that um uh, if you had a tactician suit or you're able to uh, make a quick uh free action uh, regular action into a quick action Sorry, old man, stumble in my thoughts there. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> this I loved until you can no longer, no longer hit shields with it. And they, they nerfed that one. So you can see here we have a number of, of our weapons. Um, some were really good. Some we didn't really know what to do with until they started changing things around, like the meta. And then all of a sudden, wow, you know, it was it was worth it uh, custom only for killing was great giving mental anguish and it died out when psychic attacks could be blocked and now when that was removed or less active you could use this and really help against an automated uh, to destroy an automated team who didn't think to just refresh to heal um, you had your guns you had your psychic sets um, it had a lot of different style of weapons. This was great for a while. You know, um, 
it's I love this one. I have a friend of mine who did never got the hand of apocalypse. You know who you are. I had three of them, and I wish I could have traded. And we were all talking about that too, uh, different friends of mine, about how it'd be great if we had a trading system so that we could trade weapons that we had in excess for ones we didn't have at all. And there could be a centralized place for it so that no one could cheat. You know, had to go over like a like in in Yahoo football where you have a trade and and the managers have to go through it first, something like that. So this was really good, Paragon Exploiter. You could really work that this well when you had um, Mockingbird, who also had that, uh, and um, just a ton of weapons in here that we took pride in owning, because it was like we were prepared for any meta that came our way. We were prepared for any changes. Those of us who busted butt, uh, these were the newer ones, the, the mighty, mighty hammers, and they were ISO infused. So you got a little extra going on there, ISO infused, all right? And uh, yeah, you know, this is what I liked about Marvel Avengers Alliance is because with this game, it made you think. I like games that make you think. It takes, I, I'm a, I live with chronic pain. So for me to, uh, to have a game like this where I had to focus on this, it kept my mind off the pain that I go through. I usually hide it well. I mean, you probably can't tell from my voice, but the, the pain is pretty intense. And it's, it just lets you know in case you care, <laughs> maybe not, but what I have is that all my muscles, um, they, they get into knots. Um, and it's kind of like, you get, it gives me an idea what the Hulk goes through when he goes through changes and in, in the mythical idea of it, uh, that when you have like a, um, your calf muscle locks up on you, we call it a Charlie horse and it puts you to the ground cause you're in pain. Imagine that over your entire body. Okay. At different levels of pain throughout the day, nonstop. And that's what I deal with. So this game really, really helped me to find something where I had to think and focus. There wasn't too much delay. And that's what I liked about that, uh, the aspect of this game. And it really helped me through four years. So I grieve by its loss for another way because I haven't found anything yet that can do that. You know, there's nothing that really that makes me think like this game did. And it was had so much diversity to it that you didn't just repeat the same thing over and over again, just one step, repeat, rinse, wash, repeat, whatever you want to call it. Here again, um, when you get roulettes, you get the same freaking weapon over and over again. It was really frustrating. So uh, you can see, you know, and again, like I said earlier, I don't, uh, I never really sold my weapons. Always hope maybe there'd be a trade thing coming along and I'd have a good amount of extras to trade. You didn't really make much for these if you resold them, you know. Uh, there was now uh, something else. When they had free action weapons coming to this game, that changed everything. And for a while, if you busted your butt with the daily mission and you got a whole bunch of these free actions, I mean, I had a list, I had a checklist. I checked them off the way a kid would check off having the baseball card saying, have it, have it, need it, have it, have it, want it, you know, kind of thing. Uh, here we, we, we had that same response with the, with the free action like this one, you know, and I started thinking about, wow, now with free action, I can do so much more. And I started thinking about all the different things that I could do with these free actions. And before they, they kind of killed, uh, you had the quick action. You could have like quick action one, quick action two, quick action three, um, and use your quick actions until they made only use only one quick action per turn, which bummed us out. And then came the free action. And now we had the free action, which we didn't get charged for. So you can go free action, free action, free action, quick action. And with five weapon slots, you could pretty much use your entire weapon set if the free action didn't have a cooldown. That was the big thing. Like this one, stamina recharge during the stamina drain. If we um, have no cooldowns, you could use this one and go to the next one. If, however, you had a free action weapon that had more than one round cooldown, 
which I can't remember off the top of my head which one's which, but like this one says three rounds, although it's not a free action, you can see it says three rounds right up there. And and that would then defeat the purpose because you'd use them up in one round, you'd have nothing left to use for the next time you're up until the cooldown. So you had to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, I spent hours and days trying to get these free actions. Now here's an example of one. You can see it says uh, 300, power level 300 are right, all allies. So you can target all allies and it's like, yeah, get them all. Because I always loved AOE weapons. You know, why hit one guy when you can hit three and do that? consecutively so but this had a three round cooldown so it was a free action weapon didn't trigger follow-up attacks which was really good and performs a follow-up attack after the next single target attack okay not the best weapon but still you know you get excited about reading what things could do and try to figure out if they would work for you here's a free action I used I love the free action weapons that were AOE and one round cooldown this had caltrops okay Lasted for two rounds, melee attacks cause bleeding to the attacker and will immediately hemorrhage. So if you had a bleeding set attack and then you um, uh, you call, use this, it would cause immediate hemorrhage, you could really stack and then use this sucker and you'd get huge results of damage against your enemy. So I love this weapon. Um, Curative measure. They had some quick action ones too. That came from the daily mission. Um, I love the dark the boot sets. I just you know, never you really used much of them, but I just thought it was cool to have you know the boot sets. Um, this one defensive dissipator. Okay, one round cooldown takes reduced damage from energy attacks. So if if the meta was an energy, you'd have this thing to give you a little extra chance. You know. Um, so everything gave you possibilities as to what could come next. And that's what was so much loved by this, um, this game. And here, the impending doom. I never got the, the original weapon. Never landed it. I tried, must have tried that thing. I think it was over 500 times. Never landed on, uh, the, was it Doombringer or something like that? Uh, and then we got the, the free action version which was so great. And I got bunches of, you know, I got those. So drains energy. So you can have an all energy drain, um, you know, all stats reduced, uh, which helps. Uh, these I never really used much. But you can see, here we go. Um, here's a three round cooldown, uh, restore stamina. Great for if you had different ones and all you cared about was for your agent to keep stamina going, but it was only for one ally. So not so hot. Ionic Devourer, I tried this one for for this one for a long time because despair on the entire enemy team was huge. Uh, and especially on the automated teams, you play against the computer. Awesome to have that. Couldn't wait to get that. Um, and no cooldown on it, so you can use it every turn. You know, so um, you've got all these weapons here that uh, that that were enjoyable. Here's your psychic amplifier. I used that one for a while. Um, you, you just, they just gave you so much to, to choose from so many options. Hold on. Excuse me for a second. People, Tessa, stop. Um, all right. Sorry for, sorry about that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, this is, I'm a dad. So, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get background stuff. Um, Free action weapons. Uh, I never use this one, but again, you have so you you get the point. There's just so many out there uh, that uh, that gave us opportunities to uh, to create new and exciting attack teams. And I would always ask uh, others what they thought. You know, I would try something or what has worked for them. Because sometimes I couldn't come up with a, a solution. I just was brain fried, you know, after trying so many things. And I was very thankful for there were other people who did videos regularly for this game, which gave like, oh, there's another way of, of thinking about this. Okay. You know, or I used three of those weapons he, he described, but those other two I didn't think of. So, you know, great opportunities. I'm, I'm a person who believes in communication. Uh, communication is key is a great motto and uh, communicating back and forth even if I knew the answer I'd still ask other people what they thought 
because I thought three heads, four minds, five minds are better than one always. So here we have um, Gollum Screaming Eagle. It was pretty powerful. You have uh, Quantum Jumper that granted the extra turn. Uh, just a lot. So, okay, so we got through all these weapons and wow, this is, okay, the supplies. Um, usually I just do the gear. But you, you saw the weapons that we had there and there were quite a few. Um, back to the agent, okay, you could go with the tactician um, and these are all the scrapper heroes that existed. Here are all the tact, tactical heroes that existed. I love tactical. They were my favorite of all. Uh, infiltrator, um, not so much. Uh, bruiser, you know, and you could change out these heroes. So some of them weren't just bruiser or just infiltrator, you know, you could... Uh, and that was really good for your bonuses that you needed in PvP to have some strength there. Um, the characters themselves, we got several versions. We got the uh, classic Human Torch, and then we got the Annihilate Human Torch. Okay, um, there was uh, you can see the the options. Um, Daredevil, Dare, Deadpool. Oh gosh, I'm tired. Deadpool, uh, three options. Okay, different class suits. Uh, wow, a Scarlet Witch, we had five. You know, and like this one really stunk. Um, she never really was as powerful as we hoped her to be. Um, you had uh, future foundation suits for the Fantastic Four going on. Uh, you you know, this, this happened with the Worthy. Okay, um, let me see if I can find, what was one that had just a ton captain america all right so you could instead of looking around you could look for cap there's captain britain all right who did i have him on okay i had him on the the tactician in nine different uniforms here you know and uh some i bought but never used never had need but i got him just so i could use for the hero bonus you know um yeah that's just here here we go Let's, why not? Last day, they're ending it a few. I just unlocked Captain America. Avengers Captain America, which I'll never get to use. I don't want to slot them, you know. <laughs> All right, there's buy uniform here. Let's go. Another one. Wow. Okay, so there's W World War II Captain America. How, you know, I don't want to slot them. There's just so much, uh, the depth that we had. You get rid of this. And no one to recruit, right? Uh, generalists. Do all. Uh, Thor. Thor had a bunch. Yep. See? Maybe I can equip uniform. I don't want to equip uniform. Uh, buy uniform. Why not? Here we go. That's, you know. So, I mean, the artwork was really good. Um, I mean, there were glitches, of course, which all games have, but the artwork was really well done. Um, so, again, you can see there were just a lot of weapons and a lot of characters that all um, had a part of the game, and all at one time had some major importance attached to it. And we're going to miss this. You know, we, could, we, we took pride again in getting these heroes and then to level them all up to level 15, starting from one. You know, try playing PvP when you just start and you only have Iron Man as your only hero. <laughs> you know, I mean, just you just didn't play PvP unless you wanted to get your butt kicked. But uh, just so many so many characters uh and and uh gonna gonna miss them gonna miss playing them gonna miss the uh captain using captain britain we had him for a group boss he did some tremendous damage group bosses i can't really show you because uh that's only comes up on their whim to to gain a hero or to gain some weapons uh but you saw the team you saw the collection here's our research and and research um you know 
you don't have sufficient funds for it. Uh, but you could research these. There you go. Boom. Uh, I already have them. I had more than one. That's why they're still here. But that was how you would get your weapons moved up, especially if you had assignments and missions and stuff. And that goes to missions. And in the missions here, all right, you had your daily mission. And you'd get a, a reward for this. And it, when you got all five, you start, you can get the roulette with a free action. Uh, once you finish it, you can get a roulette for the free action weapon and try to get that. And this is where I got all those free action weapons from. So I pl this, this is very time consuming and sometimes boring uh, because they lasted for so long. Uh, okay, so I just got a mosquito in my ear, great. Um, so here's the daily mission mission info and shows you what possibly you could land you know and and that and so on and so forth so here's season one we'd start with season one we're going to go back to season one okay and uh we're looking here chapter one the pulse first things we did you guys wanted you wanted to get level five level you know five star okay and get whatever uh, was in here. Here's your mission info, and you'd show you the weapon. All right. So um, some of these, some of these I did, and I was quite um, in happy to target and get them all. Here I didn't see, because then I was able to get to chapter two, and I would move along, saw which weapons I liked, started realizing some weapons were not worth getting, so I didn't push for them, and others were, and so I tried for this one, for example, to get the EP, EMP Blaster and to get the Unipulse, which increases damage, um, and I thought, didn't know much about weapons, so I thought, well, that sounds good with, with um, Iron Man. And you can see that nice high score, here was the highest score for that one, 635. I came in fifth on that with my friends. So you'd move on. So here you have the little story and, and the missions, and you play through them, and then you go to the next one. This one I liked. I tried to get all the, the weapons in this one, I guess. And uh, here you see, you know, any more weapons. That was good. Any any weapons, because you're, you're starting out. You didn't have much. So you wanted to get as many variety of weapons as as possible. Okay, and so I tried for him. There's a fifth there. You know, here we go. What's this one? Okay, sixth there. So I, you know, I was trying to be competitive and get and get what I thought would be would be good. You know, get him out amount of weapons on there, so I'd have more to battle with in terms of PvP. We move on to chapter four, and you could see. Uh, not as much into that. Of course, I wanted to get the premium. I think I got it, so I stopped. Premium weapon were these. We get the golden. All right. Um, and as we move on, again, five star, you know, uh, and you'd get, so we would move up with chapters. And I just, my goal was I just wanted to get as many through as chapters as possible to reach chapter 12 because somebody said chapter 12 was really great and you could do a lot of stuff there. And so here, just to get through it, boom, 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 moved on to chapter um, nine. If I didn't think, now I'm starting to wise up. If I didn't think the weapons were useful or good, I didn't try getting them now. I just moved on, try to get through to the next one. And then as time came on, those weapons were obsolete, so I go back and bother with it, you know? So here is uh, chapter, uh, season one, chapter 12. I did them all. Um, had some better weapons here, but man, not anywhere near what other people did. Look at the, look where I'm at. I'm in 40th in this one. Just did not, I did not try to get a high score. I just wanted to get through. Now we move to, girls, now we move to chapter two. Chapter two uh we were excited about i'm sorry yeah season two um season two we were ex excited about for the same reason something something new better better weapons more story and of course it's okay there we go so here here we go and um you can see now it's a little different 
before just getting the stars. Now you had to get these things here to get your hero or weapon, the chapter information. Here's, if you mastered it, you'd get the command points, you'd get the five gold, you'd get your silver, you'd get, you know, more gold here. This was towards the, the end when gold didn't matter as much to us because the game was closing itself out. Um, but you'd see, here's the story behind it, and you'd see what you'd get for it. Uh, here okay okay yeah so here you you have um here's the mission info and now you get here's your reward you know and if it's an epic and you had to fill out all these and your goal was to try to get all these weapons again they're making the new weapons more powerful more you know useful you could see uses for them and again here's three Here's four. So when you were playing PvP and you check your against somebody, you could see if someone was cheating if they never did any of this stuff. You know, it, they they cheated. So why do any of the work, right? So you wouldn't see all this filled up. You wouldn't see uh, them in here if they were an ally, which they wouldn't be for long if they were cheaters. Uh, and go all the way up to the last last one, which again was didn't have all use for these uh, and here you're no okay well chapter information so there that's why I pointed out earlier for the final chapter okay so that's this and then special ops special ops were great again you get a lock bus hero you get you know a, a hero um, you get weapons within that as well you know um, there's epic bosses, and see, we were able to then maybe put more into it to get a higher score, which it really didn't matter to me if who became number one, really, you know. Um, but there, I never completed that mission because why bother? Play this, play this, and you reach and you get the hero that's right here, Adam Warlock. And now it's somebody else that you can add to PvP if worth worthwhile. And no use for that now. Over here, again, your daily mission, which I had talked to you earlier about. Here you have um, assignments. If you collected these uh, that you get in a roulette, you could use it to research and get the weapon. Okay, um, here, same, making, making of the mighty, craft the swords, I already did, I don't know why it's even there. Uh, here you have uh, research, just things to research, I never finished all that research stuff because I never needed the stuff. And I started putting my time into what was most important. Uh, more details, same stuff, okay, daily mission. So. That's pretty much the the whole game. Uh, you wanted to respin your daily bonus. There you go. Try again. I didn't really do that that much unless this weapon was so epic. <laughs> well, that's good. Look at that. Last time I use it, I get the the weapon here. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Or not the weapon. The uh, the uh, the cosmic energy. Um, that's the weapon. Uh, to get the cosmic energy, but the the uh, that's what you were just talking about to raise them up to get a weapon. And here they just they just were like, we're going to give you everything so you can finish this you know your game out. We understand how hard you work. Let's they give you the satisfaction of being able to finish. I saw people who had no heroes and used up their their gold and got a whole bunch. Um, you can see here like 20, 20, You never had this in regular roulette. Five hundred on stable isos. Um, 500, and then there's a thousand here, right? I think I only got this 1,000 maybe four times in all the times I spun. Got all this gold, who cares? So, show you the amount of there's your CP, and again, the CP here this is where your ISOs were at 7,000. If 
you had a thousand, you could pretty much get through most of this and and get the weapons you wanted because you had enough spins with the ISOs. You also collected them down here. Um, here is your command points. Uh, this is would be to use recruit heroes, of course, not needed if you have them all. This is your silver, which was always a challenge for anyone who didn't cheat. Here's your gold, which you would get for free, but only in one increment. Or sometimes you get 20 gold uh, as a big reward. Hey, that was great. This, you, or you'd buy the gold, spend actual money. That's where they made their money. Here we have. Uh, I never really felt needed this, but this was part of your purchasing. Okay, your energy. You would use your energy here. You can see here I have small energy. I had a lot of that. So if I had a lot to play for during a day, I never ran out. I had enough saved because I worked for it day in and day out to get that energy. Uh, here, just once you hit level 300, you just keep going over and over again for level 300. Up here, you wanted to give you wanted to give gifts. You'd send an ISO to somebody. You'd pick somebody. You send it, and that would also help you know that them know that you were playing. Um, you get out of that. You have allies. You want to mix, get so many ally. You invite people through there. There you go. Pick people who you've seen playing and invite them. Here's your messages, which we did in the first video. Um, here's just your English, so you know you had different people all throughout the world. Just reminds you. It wasn't just people in America playing it, or people in England playing it, or Italy. It was just everywhere, you know, places I never even heard of. Zimbabwe, people were playing uh, this game. Uh, you want support, you get help. Now, their help, you used to have, be able to send them screenshots. So if you had cheaters, you could show, send them those screenshots to show cheating. Or if, for instance, you were upset because you bought a weapon for 65 gold, um, and then suddenly they nerfed it and you wanted your money back, you know, you could show what they did to it and it was like false advertising. I actually got them to pay me back fully for tactics because I let them know. I didn't give up. Uh, fan page. Go there. Big deal. Okay, so we're out of the game. There it is. This is, uh, this is it, guys. This is the last day. We're counting down to... How much is left? I guess there's 55 minutes left in this game because at 47 seconds because there's the countdown. And we're just seeing that countdown to the end. Maybe I'll have the video to show the end of what happens to this as a part three, if you care. <laughs> you know, there we go. Get that back up there. Um, but that's the game. And I hope this showed you just the depth uh, that this game created for us and the amount of time put into it uh, in order to get where we got. There are cheaters who got here and they can't rest in anything. And then there were the people who put every, did everything by hand and they are the ones who should get an applause for a job well done, even in a game. So uh, that's the end of this video time. Uh, I know it's pretty lengthy. But so was this game. I thank you for taking a look. I've never really done this before. Uh, we had other people who could do it far better than I could. But if anything, this is a memory that I can go back to and look at and see uh, everything that this game re represented and uh, not forget. So thanks for watching and listening and putting up with my children in the background. And I hope you have a wonderful